In this video, we'll learn how to find the mode for a set of data. The mode is one of the measures of central tendency, along with the median and the mean. So it gives you some information about the data, but not everything. The mode in particular tells you the most frequent data point, if anything is repeated. If in the data nothing has been repeated more than once, then there is no mode. If there are multiple numbers which have been repeated the same number of times, and that's the maximum number, then there can be more than one mode. So it's possible for a set of data to have one mode, multiple modes, or no modes. If a data set has only one mode, that is only one number that appears most often, then it is called unimodal. Sometimes it will happen that there's sort of a tie for the mode. There's two numbers or two data points that are repeated the same number of times for that maximum number. And in that case, the data set is called bimodal. Remember that that prefix of bi means two. So in that case, there are two different modes. You can also have a multimodal data set, which just means that there are more than two modes. The nice thing about finding the mode is that you don't really have to do any calculations. You just need to look very carefully at the data to see if there's anything that has been repeated. This can be especially nice to do if you have the data in graphical form, because then you can see where there are highs and lows. Another thing that's important to realize about modes is that they can be determined for both quantitative data, which is like numbers, or qualitative data, which could be colors or anything that's not a number. This is interesting because this is the only measure of central tendency that can do this. Both the mean and the median only work for quantitative data. So let's just look at a quick example. Let's suppose this is a set of data and we want to figure out the mode. So what we need to look for is any numbers that have been repeated and then figure out what number has actually been repeated the most. And if there are a tie between two different numbers, then our data set will be bimodal or multimodal. So as you look through, I noticed there are two different 20s, only 121, three 32s, 240s and 141. So that means 32 wins because there are three 32s. So the mode would be 32. So that's the number that appeared most often in the data set. 